Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel for the subject of operational research. In the today's our lecture we are going to discuss about the replacement theory the continuity of the previous chapter that we had discussed in the previous video. In this particular video we are going to talk about a specific about replacement in which we are going to talk about and solve the numerical about group replacement. In previous videos we had seen for the individual replacement numerical we will see a group replacement in this particular video. Now let's begin our video. Let's read first of all what is the numerical is trying to tell us. In a factory, bulbs are having failure according to given probability timetable as below. So you had given uh, some failures ratio for the bulbs that is used in the factory. Over here a statistic is given to you that there is a weak numbers given to you. The weeks are from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So there are 5 weeks given to us. That is a percentage failure by week end is given to us that means at the end of the week first there is a percentage of failure of the bulb is 10 percentage at the second week there is a failure of a 25 percentage at the week of three there is a failure chances of 50 percentage at the end of the fourth week there is a chance of 80 percentage and at the end of the week fifth there will be the chance of a 100 percentage failure of a bulb so now let's see how many bulbs they are talking about and what are the cost of the replacement. There are 500 bulbs in use. So in this case there are 500 bulbs are used. In each cost rupees 2.50 to replace an individual bulb which has burned out. So they are giving us an information that if we are replacing a bulb individually then 2.50 rupees is going to cost us. If the bulbs were replaced simultaneously it would cost rupees 0.75 per bulb. So if we replace the bulb simultaneously then it will only going to cost us 0.75. That means in a group it is going to cost us 0.75. So for individual it is 2.50 rupees while for group it was 0.75. It is proposed to replace all the bulbs at fixed intervals whether or not they have burnt out, out or not to continue replacing burnt as they fail determine the optimum period of time for changing all bulbs similarly. So they are suggesting us that we should replace the bulbs in a fixed interval whether they are burnt out or not but they are asking us the optimum period for changing all the bulbs simultaneously. So it's the question to be answered. Now let's begin with our solutions. Here total bulb in the factory is 500. So we will denote it as an N0. And that means when I say over here the 0 means for the initial state. That means for the first even before the first week is completed. So that is why N0. Now individual replacement cost as we discussed is 2.5 per bulb and for group replacement it is rupees 0.75 per bulb. Now let Pn is the probability of failure during n period according to the given data. So what we had done we had given a data sum over here that for the first week as we had discussed there is a percentage of failure in the bulb is 10 and so on for the other weeks. So for the P1 that means probability of failure at the week number 1. Okay, Over here this suffix actually denote which week we are talking about is equals to 10 percentage and in the point value we will write down as 0 0.10. Okay, Now it is taken from the table itself. Now for the P2 that is probability of the second week will be given by 0 0.25 because from here 0 0.25 percentage to 0 0.10. So we will 
do the difference of this that means to find out p2 what we will do we will do 0 0.25 minus 0 0.10 from the previous week so it will give us p2 is equals to 0 0.15 now for p3 same thing you have to do you have to see over here that is 0 0.50 minus 0 0.25 so you will have an answer 0 0.25 for p4 the same thing 0 0.80 for here 0 0.80 minus 0 0.50 so you will have an answer 0 0.30 for p5 same thing over here 100 that means 1 1 minus 0 0.80 that means the p5 is 0 0.20 as simple as that so we will have the probability for every week from week 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let's calculate the numbers of failure we are not yet come to the step where we will find whether to replace individual or replacement through group but we want to find how many failures are happening as per the weeks so in the first column what i will do i will from right from 0 to the fifth week so 0 1 2 3 4 5 the weeks according to the increasing order there is a symbol given over here that is n0 like i say for the 0 that is the first even before the first week is n we will write down n0 n1 n2 n3 n4 and n5 this is the number of the bulbs we are talking about okay now failure probability for of course for the 0 it will be of course 0 that is a very logical thing but now for the week number 1 n1 and we had already had an failure probability that is from here 0.1 we had already find out this thing right that is p1 is nothing but 0 0.1 so i want to find out how many quantity to be replaced so there is a formula for this let's see our formula for this that is n0 into n1 what is the formula n0 that into n1 these are the formulas you have to remember it but be sure it is very easy all you have to do you have to multiply the numbers of before the first week and multiply with the probability of failure that means for we had 500 bulbs and the probability is 0 0.1 of failure so what we will do we had a 500 number of bulbs multiply by 0 0.1 it's equals to 50 so there will be a 50 bulb to be replaced in the week number one okay this is what we have to calculate now before moving to this side let's complete this whole column over here so for number two now so let's say we want to find out n1 has 50 now we want to find out n2 so for n2 there is a, this formula that n0 into p2 plus n1 into p1 okay so you can see what you have to do is to remind these equations you have to multiply this increasing numbers of bulb failure into the probability time that means decreasing probability you see over here there is a logic behind uh, remembering this that n0 into p1 for the first one now n0 into p2 plus n1 into p1 okay so this is increasing you see over here in the third equation also n0 n1 n2 so this is increasing while the probability has to decrease like p3 p2 p1 let's try one more time n0 has to increase so n0 n1 n2 n3 multiply by decreasing order p4 p3 p2 p1 and so on okay so this is how you have to remember this equation it is very easy once you will try it you will understand the point so if i do over here what i will do n0 into p2 plus n1 into p1 so if i calculate this i will get the answer of an 80 same way over here n0 into p3 n1 into p2 and n3 into p1 so i will get an answer 141 same here n0 into p4 plus n1 into p3 plus n2 into p2 plus n4 into p1 is equals to 189 same here 
n0 into p5 plus n1 into p4 plus n2 into p3 plus n4 into p2 plus n5 into p1 is equals to 175. So this is what you have to calculate. So we will get a value that at the e e first week we are having a failure of 50 bulb. Second week we are having a failure of 80. Third week we are having a failure of 144. Fourth week 189. Fifth week 175. Okay. So now to calculate this column that is average life calculation. What you have to do? You have to just multiply the probability of failure into the number of weeks. So 0 0.1 into 1 that will give you an answer 0 0.1. 0 0.15 into 2 will give you an answer 0 0.3. 0 0.25 into 3 0 0.75. 0 0.3 into 4 1.2. 0 0.2 into 5 1. Okay. So this is how you will get an answer. So this is the task that is completed. Our first step is completed over here. It is very simple. Right. Now let's go to the next step. That is step number two, calculating the cost for individual replacement. Now I am specifically trying to see if I replace these bulbs individually, then what will be the cost that I am trying to find out. So there is a equation for that, that is average life is sum of i equals to 1 raised to n in sum of i into pi. Okay, that is this i is denoting the weak i denoting the week let's see one two three four five these are the weeks so i over here is denoting the week pi is denoting the probability of failure for the week so for the first week probability is 0 0.1 second week 0 0.15 third week 0 0.25 fourth week 0 0.30 fifth week 0 0.20 and what where are these value are coming from these are the coming from that you had already calculated before okay now after getting after solving that you will get an answer 3.35 okay so what you have to do these are the average life we are talking about that is 3.35 now average number of failure as per period so this is the average life so if I do this then I have to what you have to do I have to divide it by 500 divided by this average life that is 3.35 is equals to 149 that means at an average number failure for this period will be 149 so 149 will be failed so if I replace them individually then I know that the individually rupees is 2.50 rupees so what I have to do I have to simply multiply by that so total cost of individual replacement is equals to 149 that is the failure of bulb into 2.50 is equals to rupees 373 so this is the answer when we replace it individually now let's check out in the step number three that calculating the group replacement now we are talking about a group replacement okay so first what you have to do you have to write down uh, the make first column up to the week so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and uh, then what you have to do you have to simply uh, calculate the total cost of group replacement okay for every week that we are talking about so let's see that uh, we know that we had already given a value of 500 okay and it is the cost that we are talking about over here 0 0.75 is what it is the cost that we already have to apply if we want to provide a group replacement so I want to do group replacement so I what I will do I will replace it with the 500 bulb itself I will put I will simply take 500 all the bulbs and then replace it simultaneously so when I do that what I will do I will multiply with 0 0.75 right this is fine 500 into 0 point you have to do for every step because you are going to do that you are going to change every bulb every time but there is something there is a probability of failure once again even if I replace everything there is always a chance that it is going to fail so for the first week uh, the probability of failure has given me a number of failures where this 50 look over be careful over here this 500 is the number of bulb 
zero point seventy five is when I replace it together, plus two point five is the rupees of individual, and this fifty. Where this fifty come from? This fifty from from the our first table. You see over here. See that means in the first week there is a chance of failure of individual is fifty bulb. So what I will do? I will put a two point five into fifty. So if I calculate this, I will get an answer five hundred. Same way, 500 into 0.75. You have to do this for every step. Remember, you have to calculate the group replacement for every step. So that is one of a part that is very easy. Plus, what you have to do, you have to replace it individually also. So 2.5 into 50 plus 80. You see over here, 50 plus 80. Where this 50 and plus 80 come from? So 50 for the first week and 80 for the second week. Of course, even if if you going to replace it, you have to replace it to means the second week is going on. So first week of you have to also calculate and second week also you have to consider. Okay, so that is how you get an answer 100, 700. So same way you can do for all the weeks and you will have the answer. Now for the average cost per week, what you have to do? You have to do average cost per week. So if I do average cost of week, what I have to do, I have to just simply divide the number of uh, total cost divided by the per week. So 500 divided by 1 gives me 500. Then 700 divided by 2 give me 350. 1052 rupees by 3, 351. 1020, 1525 divided by 4, 3081. 1962 divided by 5, 392. So over here, I have to see what is the last amount of cost. That is 350. Okay, 350. Now compare this 350 with the individual cost. If you compare this 350 with the individual cost, you will see there is a difference of 23 rupees. So if I replace it together, I will save 23 rupees. Okay. So since the cost of replacement per week is 350 and the individual replacement is 370 three per week it is advisable to adopt group replacement policy okay so you over here we can conclude that if you replace it with group replacement then it is good for you and what is the time you have to replace you have to replace on the second week okay so this is how you have to solve your numerical if you had any query please let me know in the comment section so uh, thank you so much for your valuable time and I hope you understand this. Uh, see you again.